Hello everyone and welcome to the next session of exponents and powers. In the previous sessions we have discussed what is exponent form, what are powers, what is base and some few properties of exponents and powers. Now in today's session we will be discussing some more few properties of um, exponents and powers. So let me try, let me take one example and try to explain the property. I have here a number 2 raised to 3 raised to 2. That means 2 to the power of 3 and again it is raised to a power of 2. I can write this number as expanding the first this one. So it is 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 2 times as it is raised to the power of 2. Now I can say that this is 2 to the power of 3 plus 3. I am applying here the property which we have already discussed is equal to a raised to m plus n. So I can again further write this as 3 into 2. So 2 to the power of 3 raised to 2 is actually 2 to the power of 3 into 2. Let's take one more example and try to understand this. That is it giving us the similar results or not. I have a number 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 4. Now to expand this, I will first expand the upper 4. So this will be 3 to the power of 2 into 3 to the power of 2 into 3 to the power of 2 into 3 into the power of 2 4 times. Now this actually can be written as 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 from the above rule a cross m cross a cross n equal to a m plus n. And this I can further say is 3 to the power of 2 into 4. So, if I have a number 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 4, I can write it as 3 to the power of 2 into 4. If I want to generalize this, I can generalize this as a to the power of m raised to n is equal to a to the power of m cross n. So I have learned one more property here. Now let's go to the next property. Okay, you cannot say this is a property, but one more simplification we need to understand. And that simplification we will understand with one example. Let's say I have 3 raised to the power of 2 divided by 3 raised to the power of 2. Now here I can apply a property which I have already learned. The property is a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a m minus n. That means if I want to simplify this, this will be 3 to the power of 2 minus 2. As a is equal to 3, m is equal to 2, n is equal to 2. So that gives me 3 to the power of m equal to 2 minus 2. So that gives me 3 to the power of 0. Okay, now let's try and expand this. So if I try and expand this, I will be having 3 into 3 divided by 3 into 3. That gives me 1 as uh, 3 cross cancel with denominator and denominator get cancelled and that gives me 1. So can I say that this 3 raised to the 0 is equal to 1. Let's try and understand the same thing one more time in a different fashion. I can write it as 7 cross 7 cross 7 divided by 7 cross 7 cross 7. Now this 7 gets cancelled. And I got here the answer as 1. Applying this rule gives me 
7 cross 3 minus 3 is equal to 7 raised to 0. I am sorry here, 7 raised to 3 minus 3 is equal to 7 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Why 1? Because we have already proved here by expanding that 7 raised to 0 is, when I get this 7 raised to 0 from 7 raised to 3 divided by 7 raised to 3, it gives me an answer as 1. So, if I want to generalize this equation, can I say that a raised to 0 is equal to 1 where a can be any number? That means if I have any number raised to 0, that means 0 times I am using this number, then the answer to it is always 1. This applies both to the positive and the negative number. Let's try an example here to try and prove the same with the negative number. Is what? So let's take an example here. Minus 1 raised to 3 divided by minus 1 raised to 3. If I expand it, it's minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. Divided by minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1. So that gives me 1. Because this all gets cancelled. So I can say here minus 1 divided by minus 1 raised to 3 is 3 minus 3. Which is equal to minus 1 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So the same thing applies to both positive and negative number. So I can say that a raised to 0 is equal to 1. Thank you.